everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a project share video and these two projects were inspired by two different youtubers um, this one here was inspired by Mrs Stationery and stuff uh, she did a Christmas card with this um, sort of sunburst effect and I really liked it and um, I've been doing a like mass effort to use up my scraps and I had all of these scraps from the same paper collection and I really wanted to use them up so I used her layout idea and I mounted it onto a black panel so there would be a line in between each one and then I used um, the Ulta new stamp set uh, it's called You Are and I just chose Perfectly Wonderful just the way you are thought it would make a nice just because card and then I had like loads of off cuts where I'd kind of like trimmed around the edges so I literally just put them together like a patchwork and I ended up with like one long strip and I was going to use it in an art journal but when I cut it down into panels oh I've got a bit of scrap on there um, when I cut it down into panels I thought it actually made really cute cards so I just used the We Believe In You um, from that same stamp set and the scraps and that is a Fiskars border punch that I used there uh, but this is literally just scraps and then carrying on from the scraps theme I had these little tags sitting around in my kit um, I was watching a what was it crafty uh is it crafty owl creates i can't remember i don't know um sorry i will try and find out who it was and anyway she's it was an older video from november where she I was doing a no spend November challenge and she challenged us to use an old kit and I had this tag kit with the snowman's in my stash for ages so I got that out and used it with my scraps to make this card I also made this card and that's a paper smooches stamp set called spiritual sampler I made this card which says find joy in everyday blessings and that was an MFT it's an MFT stamp set I can't remember the name of it I don't have it to hand I think that might be the only thing that I've actually put away <laughs> um, so sorry about that I will link it in the description below and I made this one from scraps as well same stamp set and I made this one and I've just used the embossing folders I was trying to use supplies that I haven't used for ages and embossing folders always get neglected in my stash this piece of card is actually a backing paper for an embossing folder that I got in a magazine but I just love the colour so I just did silver heat embossing with the sentiment and like I've used um, faith themed ones but you could literally use whatever you wanted um, this was a sunburst um, embossing folder which I inked up with galaxy gold ink um, and it says there's sunshine in my soul for you this one is the same but it says I'm praying God sends sunshine your way soon this one I used stitched rainbow um, I cut it out in white and coloured it in with my alcohol markers and then I stacked up these clouds these are the MFT flat bottom clouds and that's from that same MFT stamp set which I will link below if I can find it that was a snowman from that kit and a bit of corrugated cardboard another bit of corrugated cardboard and in my stash and an old embellishment and then this was the other snow, snowman snowflake thing and some just book paper and this come from a Kaiser Craft uh, 
piece of paper that I, and I just sat and cut all of the words out of but I like the bit of orange to go with his scarf I thought that was cute and then the other card I made I'm not sure if I've shown this already but um I literally just got scraps of paper and stuck them like brickwork in the background um you can see it under the vellum and I just popped the vellum on top to kind of like make it look diffused and I heat emboss get well soon and stuck it on a what's that silver mirror card stock yep and that's a card for my husband's nan who's in hospital and then so the first card I showed was inspired by Mrs Stationery and stuff and then this project is inspired by two people um Joey Defee I hope I've said your name right hon and um Crafty Michelle because she was asking us about journals and I've never made a journal before um so yeah please don't judge me <laughs> I feel a bit nervous sharing this um anyway so I've just got a closure with a ribbon and I've mounted this handmade flower and some other flowery embellishments and a butterfly sticker and just a few bits and bobs and it says spread our wings and live our dreams so that's why I've used butterflies on the front and I do want to use this as a journal it's six by six um, I use 12 by 12 papers and I just cut them in half and then I've um, stitched just using one signature um, and I was also inspired to use this paper pack because again it had been in my stash for a really long time and when I was looking for something to kind of like follow the challenge even though it's not live right now from um, is it Alicia? Alicia? I think that's her name um, I found this kit and all the papers kind of coordinated and I thought it would be great so I've just used some washi tape and some stars these are the gorgeous girl bows there's a flower I created um, there's a little um, pocket with a sticker and some tags that I've made and there's a double sided um, I left this one blank because I thought I might want to write on it Oops. and then there's another blank page and then there's a flip up that's from a Kaiser Craft paper pad another blankish page this was from that thick Christmas ribbon that's wired and I just cut out the glitter design from it like I did with the snowflakes on my Christmas cards that's from that same Kaiser Craft pack just some um, lace bling from my stash um, I've got these little acetate pieces which I've had for literally ages and I just glued the corners to make it like a tuck in. I've got this little photo spot which my sister in law gave me. So, my, it's a printing sample that she got for her shop. I made this tag and um, I die cut using the MFT stitch tags and um, on a normal card base. I'll just show you. So this is a normal card base and all I did was line up the die so the cutting bit was just above the fold so that it stayed intact and I managed to get two tags out of one card base so I made that I mean you could do it yourself and um, you could um, just die cut two tags and stick them together or you could fold a card in half yourself um, there's another little card there so I'll probably journal on those got a bit of velvet ribbon which I've attached with some staples my tiny attacher this is a bow bunny stamp set it is called flourishes and such stamp set this is the washi tape that I hauled recently from 
I think it was the works. It was either the works or the range that these were in there. Another tuck in. This one I've used some lace and um, these tags were from Ikea a while ago. Um, this is actually an upside down pocket so I can tuck things underneath and that's also a tuck in. Here is another one of those tags, a bit of lace. This is like a heart lace. Um, and then I've just mounted some pale cardstock inside. This is a belly band that I made out of ribbon and lace. So um, I glued the lace onto the ribbon and then I stapled the ribbon in using my tiny attacher and I've just used some book paper in the background. This was um, off of a piece of clothing that I had. It was the tag that came with it. Um, so I kept it and I've just mounted some card on the back of that so I can write on it but also so that it has some weight because it was quite flimsy and I'm just going to tuck that back in there and I put this little label box I thought if I add some journaling I might want to put a date or something on it then there's another plainish page and then I've got a little envelope that I can tuck things in and this cute uh, bird rhinestones. This is a really old, um, I think it's my mind's eye. It's just a clip. Um, I, may, I die cut this spider web from my um, cameo a really long time ago when I first got it. It was just like a test. So I backed uh, it with vellum or tracing paper, I think it is and um, I'm just using that as a tuck-in. So I've got this piece here, which was a bit of a packaging, and I put a frame on the other side, and I thought I could do some journaling in there, or I could add a photo, that would be cute. This is a bit of packaging that I made into a tag. This is actually a sticker, which I might stick onto something later on. I just put it in there for now, because it went. And I can make some more tags when I do my journaling later. This was a sticker for my stash. This is another pocket and I've made two more tags and this has got that flocked design on it. It's really nice and it's got the uh, same design on the back but different colour. Actually matches that which is quite nice. Another one of these IKEA tags. Um, two more IKEA tags with some stapled, some are tied on, but they've got different um, ribbons on. This was a Smashbook pocket that said stuff, and it was a bit more yellow than cream, but I thought that it would be nice to, to do a yellowish page. This was a Smashbook tab, um, but I put these acrylic resin flowers on and this... Um, bead that was in the shape of a leaf. This is another tuck-in pocket um, which I can add tags to later on. You can also tuck in here as well. These were part of that same My Mind's Eye kit. Oh, I think my little gems have come off there, but never mind. I can fix that another time. And then the last page I've got some tags. Uh, this is another pocket. So I could add more to that and then I've just got a little paper clip here with a bow and a thing, a little tiny journaling spot and again I can just add some paper and write on that. And then that's the back. I'm probably going to work on the back more. Um, I've added this little spot here because I thought I could write the date that I finished it. Um, and yeah, that's my first ever book and it's just um, sewn together. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my quick flick through my book. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than thank you for watching. Bye.